Good evening. This is expected to be one of the largest mass evictions in the city in years, and a lot of residents are upset. At the Barrington Plaza in West LA, hundreds of residents are scrambling after the news of a mass eviction, forcing all tenants to evacuate. One of those tenants is Iman Zadeh. I've been talking to people, you know, in the elevators or in the yard, and they're all stressed out. The landlord, Douglas Emmett Inc., notified city officials that it will stop renting all 712 units to renovate the high rise complex with fire sprinklers and other safety upgrades. Grades. This following the complex's history of fires, including one that killed a 19 year old student. The most recent fire in January of 2020 has left part of the complex red tagged and out of service. Zade says the fire concerns aren't the only issue. They didn't, you know, fix elevators, you know, garage doors or you're going to take care of the security here and a lot of issues. Issues that Councilwoman Tracy Park says have to be addressed immediately. And we know that this building is not safe. This is not a theoretical concern. Park introduced a motion to City Council Tuesday to provide tenants with relocation benefits. Many residents at the complex have lived in the building for decades and have rent controls. And ensuring that these folks are given the financial relocation assistance that is necessary, that they are utilizing the relocation specialists that the property owner is providing to make sure that they are matched with other comparable units at comparable rental rates is something that is really important to me. Especially for the senior tenants. It's not acceptable and uh, I see senior people here who have been living here for a while and now they're shocked. Some of them are there on their pensions. The complex was built in the early 60s, which made it exempt from laws requiring sprinklers. Now, starting in September, every resident at Barrington Plaza will have to find a new place to live while renovations are underway. It's really hard to just like, you know, digest this situation and hopefully uh, find a resolution for this kind of situation because 120 day is a very short notice. And the renovations are expected to take several years. We will follow the story. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News. Mm -hmm.